Hey folks, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I'm thrilled to have you here. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I want to answer a question that's been on my mind ever since the first uh, live stream that I did with Deb, Questions for the Corner. Uh, <clears throat> it was a question asked by Cynthia, uh, specifically, um, why is it that we don't talk about disability like we talk about our hobbies, our jobs, our families, and so forth and so on. And <clears throat> at the time I said that I had some theories and um, I had some thoughts, but that I wanted to let the discussion flow and see where it went and that I would uh, at some point later uh, put my two cents in. Well, I suppose this is at some point later and I'm putting my two cents in. <clears throat> so it's really the way I see it <clears throat> as simple and as complicated as this. I believe that we don't talk about disability for the exact same reason that a lot of us have a hard time talking about, for example, uh, sick people or being in a hospital or any other uncomfortable situation that we find ourselves in. <clears throat> and that reason is that being confronted with somebody who is disabled reminds us all of our own fragility and mortality. And that is never a comfortable thing to be reminded of. We look at somebody who is disabled, whether they be in a wheelchair using a walker or crutches or some other assistive device, and <clears throat> on some level we think, for the grace of God, go I. And we realize, on some level, conscious or otherwise, mostly unconscious in my opinion, that <clears throat> but for our particular set of circumstances, but for a bit of luck, um, we could be in the same situation. And we also realize subconsciously that <clears throat> our luck so to speak, could at any moment through various circumstances change. And as I say, these are mostly unconscious thoughts that we have, which when we are confronted with um, a disabled person in our space or in our lives, all of a sudden become conscious and we're not comfortable with these thoughts and feelings that we have about our own mortality and fragility. And for that reason, I think we naturally tend to avoid uh, talking about it because it's uncomfortable and we humans um, <clears throat> tend to prefer um, to be in places and with thoughts and feelings with which we are comfortable and familiar. So, those are my uh, <clears throat> those are my thoughts about this particular question. Now, how do we become more comfortable with topics like disability and questions like this? <clears throat> well, it's not an easy process, and it's not for the faint of heart. But if you do want to become more comfortable with it and change your perception and thought pattern around uh, topics like disability, I do offer um, <clears throat> individual and group coaching sessions as well as um, group presentations in which I talk about ways in which we can navigate this particularly uncomfortable um, thoughts, feelings, and experiences that we have. If you're interested, um, feel free to contact me either by email or um, on any of the other um, social media platforms that I can be found on, i.e. Facebook, Instagram, or here on YouTube, and we can discuss things further. 
Um, <clears throat> so that's all I have for the moment. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. And from my little corner of the internet to yours, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.